But I think the cool part is that what's going on in the industry is that we are all having to take a look at our process. Like, I mean, I don't think I, I, I haven't personally seen a dealership yet that I think's got it a hundred percent. You know, I'm finding that there are some dealerships that were maybe a little better prepared, um, you know, for this than others. You know, I was talking to a group the other day, nine rooftops, and, you know, for the last two years, they've been a one price dealership. Mm. Like that, that's it. Just one price, nothing else. New cars, used cars, they constantly are changing the prices. But the fact that there was no, that, that, that there hasn't been negotiations and there's not ever going to be negotiations, that that process kind of, you know, leading into this online was, is more simple because one of the biggest elements, you know, of purchasing a vehicle was the negotiation of the price. And right. they've totally removed that. They actually had it removed for two years. So now them going on to a full online, they, they already seem to be kind of ahead. But I think everyone has to sit there and kind of question, like, you know, what is the process? You know, what is the customer want? I think what it is is like, and I keep pushing this, is that as an industry, we want to hold on to the control. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, oh, uh, do, you, do you think we're a bunch of ego-driven control freaks? That, that's, the, that's the test drive thing. Well, this this person did a test drive at another store. No, 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 no. You have to do the test drive. You have to ride along with them to make sure they're going to buy that car. Frankly, my best experience with test drives has been, here, Ian, take the car, bring it back tomorrow, right? I'm still driving the last one that I did that with, right? Well, mine too. In fact, actually, the Armada that I'm driving right now was exactly that way. I went in there, they're like, you like that one? I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking about that one, but it's big, like the biggest, it's the biggest SUV <laughs> we've ever owned as a family. It's huge, <laughs> you know? And I was like, do you mind if I take it for a longer drive? He's like, yeah, I'd take it for the weekend. Yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, you know, and then I, I completed the transaction. I would say 80% of the transaction was done over text message because mm -hmm. I just, everyone knows that you call me, I'm probably not going to answer because I'm on a podcast like this or doing something else. But the dealership was willing to craft or to kind of change their process ever so slightly to to match my needs. They weren't saying, no, I have to be this, I got to go through this step and this step and this step, and there's no variation to it whatsoever. You have to follow it my way. And I'm thinking that's kind of the biggest fundamental change for most dealerships. Yeah. And